Hey creators, welcome to Top Trending and Open Source GitHub Projects, this week part 2, where you'll discover powerful new tools on GitHub that can instantly level up your workflow. Today we explore tools like Fara 7B, an AI that automates real computer tasks, and Revo Grid, a lightning-fast data grid for web apps. Let's dive in and see what you can build with these gems. Welcome back to Manu AGI Tutorials. Here, we explore the exciting world of AI, latest AI tools for you, so don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on the latest AI insights. So let's start today's video. Project number one, LLM Council. Many LLM debate yields one consensus answer. Imagine asking a tough question, not to one AI model, but to a whole council of them, each with its own style, strengths, and weaknesses, and then getting back a well-rounded answer shaped by consensus. That's exactly what LLM Council does. It's an open-source local web app that uses the service OpenRouter to broadcast your prompt to multiple large language models. LLMs collects their independent responses, lets them anonymously review and rank each other, and finally hands everything to a designated chairman model that synthesizes a final answer. When you submit a query, here's how it works. First, each council member LLM answers separately. Then in the review stage, each sees the other model's answers, without knowing who wrote which, and ranks them by accuracy and insight. Finally, the chairman takes all responses, critiques, and rankings, and crafts one consolidated output. This matters now because it moves beyond trust a single LLM. You get diverse perspectives, peer review style vetting, and a consensus that can reduce hallucinations or bias from a single model. For people building tools, doing research, or working on complex prompts, LLM Council offers more robust answer generation and safer reasoning. It runs locally, back-end in Python, with fast API plus async HTTPX, front-end in React, and stores conversation logs as JSON files. Give it a try and see how multiple minds, rather than just one, reshape the way you get answers. Before we move to next project, let me introduce you to Teza App. Teza is your smart all-in-one productivity companion, organizing your life, simplifying your workflow, and helping you achieve more with ease. Welcome to Effortless Productivity. Let's take another quick look at these features. Starting with Sora 2, just open the Sora 2 interface, drop your prompt into the box, hit generate, and wait a few seconds. Your result will be ready instantly. Let's take a look. Strength in every detail, precision in every move. Valor. Time refined. Now, moving on to the shortcut clips feature. Open the tool, paste your URL or upload a file, then select your clip configuration. Choose your style, hit export, and in moments your finished clip is ready. Let's check out the results. Million dollar ke is luxury island, 45 million dollar ke is vishal island, 5 million dollar ke barfile island, or dunya ke sabse saste island. Next is the amazing text story feature. Open the text story tool and enter your conversation or idea. Click generate script with AI, then choose your personal details theme and any other options. After that, pick your background, audio, and hit export. In a few seconds, your story will be fully processed and ready. Let's enjoy the final result. Dude, you won't believe what just happened at work. Let me guess, Karen finally got fired? Worse. Remember how Mr. Thompson's been acting weird? Yeah, mumbling to himself and hiding in the supply closet? What about it? He brought a live chicken to the meeting. Go explore the tool, have fun with the features. So, why are you waiting? Try Teza app link in the description, and let's move on to our next project. Project number two, code mode, execute code to call any tool in one shot. Imagine telling an AI agent instead of use tool A, then B, then C, to just write a small script that does the job. That's exactly what code mode offers, a plug and play library under the umbrella of universal tool calling protocol or UTCP that lets agents call many different tools by executing a single block of code rather than juggling dozens of separate tool calls. Code mode wraps up all the complexity you import the client, register your tools, APIs, CLIs, etc. Then ask the agent to run a small script in TypeScript or Python that calls those tools as needed. 
The agent writes the code, the library executes it inside a sandbox, with timeouts, security isolation, and full logging. This lets developers and AI tool builders work more efficiently, instead of exposing hundreds of tools directly to the model, which often leads to confusing function call overload, you expose just one, the code executor. That reduces overhead, speeds up workflows, in some cases 60 to 90% fewer operations than traditional tool chaining, and keeps everything secure and manageable. It's ideal for advanced AI agents, orchestration systems, automation pipelines, anywhere you need flexible, reliable tool integration without the usual complexity. Try it, and watch how your tool calling workflow becomes cleaner and smarter. Project number three, ADK Go. Code first toolkit for building AI agents in Go. Imagine building an AI assistant the same way you write a cloud backend, clean, modular, and fully in your control. That's what Agent Development Kit ADK for Go delivers a free open source toolkit from Google that lets you build, orchestrate, evaluate, and deploy sophisticated AI agents using Go. ADK Go treats agents like first-class building blocks. You define agents, autonomous units, using native Go idioms. Agents can use language models via LLM agents for reasoning or act as deterministic workflow controllers, sequential, parallel, or loop agents for predictable tasks. Tools, APIs, code execution, external services can be wired in and agents can call them or even delegate work to other agents. Because it's code first, your logic, orchestration, and tool integration live as ordinary Go code, giving you type safety, concurrency support, easy versioning, and the ability to run agents alongside your existing Go services. ADK is model agnostic and deployment agnostic, though optimized for Google's models, you can plug in different LLM backends, then deploy locally, in containers or on cloud services, like Cloud Run or Google Managed Runtimes, making it practical for real-world production use. For developers, back-end teams, or AI tool builders who prefer Go over Python or JS, ADK Go offers a robust, scalable path to integrate AI agents directly into applications. Try it and see how smoothly your back-end becomes intelligence-aware. Project number four, memory. CQL native memory layer for AI agents. Imagine a world where your AI assistant doesn't forget past conversations, where it remembers your preferences, past tasks, and context across sessions, just like a human would. That's what memory brings to the table. This open source memory engine by Gibson AI plugs into any LLM or agent framework with a single line of code, memory.enable, and gives your AI persistent, queryable memory. Memory stores all memory in standard SQL databases, SQLite, Postgres, MySQL, that you control. That means no black box vector stores, no vendor lock-in, and in full transparency and portability, you can export or backup memory like any other database. Under the hood, memory uses structured entity extraction, relationship mapping, and full text SQL search to store facts, user preferences, context, skills, rules, and more. You can opt for short-term working memory for immediate context, long-term memory for persistent information, or a mix of both, letting the system intelligently promote what matters over time. Because it hooks into most popular LLM frameworks and agent systems, like OpenAI, Anthropic, Light LLM, or frameworks built on top of them, memory works as a universal memory layer for developers, researchers, or anyone building contextual, personalized AI assistance. If you want your AI agents to remember, adapt and grow smarter over time, integrate memory, and see how context and continuity make your agent experiences feel human. Project number five, Cogne, smart memory layer for AI agents. Imagine giving your AI assistant a brain, not just short-term memory, but a growing self-organizing memory that remembers conversations, documents, images, and more, and lets the agent recall them later. That's what Cogne offers. Cogne is an open-source, Python-based memory engine that helps you build a persistent knowledge graph and vector store for your AI agents with just a few lines of code. Instead of relying on simple retrieval augmented generation RAG with raw text chunks, Cogne extracts structured entities, relations, and semantic connections from your data, from PDFs, transcripts, docs, images, and stores them in a graph plus vector database. This lets an AI agent search not only by keywords, but by meaning, context, and relationships, people, dates, events, concepts, giving far richer and more accurate memory recall. You install Cogne via pip, feed in your data, run its Cogne pipeline, 
classification, chunking, graph creation, and then you can ask queries like, what did we decide about Project X last month? Or show me all documents about Topic Y, even if the data was given weeks ago. Cogne is built for developers, researchers, and teams building long-term AI assistance, knowledge-based tools, or document-driven workflows. With it, AI systems gain memory, context awareness, and continuity, reducing hallucinations and boosting reliability. Give it a try and see how your agent's memory turns from fleeting to dependable. Project number six, Zappy, automatic API discovery tool for AI agents. And imagine having a tool that watches a web app use itself, clicking buttons, filling forms, browsing pages, and quietly logs every hidden API call behind the scenes, then turns those raw calls into structured, ready-to-use tools for AI agents. That's exactly what Zappy does. It's an open-source, MIT-licensed Python library from Adopt.ai that automates API discovery by running browser sessions via Playwright, capturing network traffic, filtering it to extract only API-relevant calls, and exporting them as HR logs or tool definitions. ZAPA supports converting discovered APIs into agent-friendly tools for frameworks like Langchain, complete with type-safe schemas and optional custom headers, so agents can call endpoints directly as functions instead of guessing URLs or crafting HTTP calls manually. It also takes care of credential handling. You can provide keys for external LLMs or services like OpenAI, Anthropic, Google, Grok, and ZAPI handles encryption, AES-256 GCM, and secure loading before tests or execution. ZAPI matters now, because as apps grow and change, keeping API definitions in sync manually becomes error-prone and time-consuming. For developers, AI tool builders and teams building agentic workflows where AI agents need to call backend APIs reliably, ZAPI turns a brittle manual process into an automated reproducible one. It gives full control, visibility, and speeds up building real-world AI integrations. Give it a try and see how effortlessly your app's hidden APIs become part of an intelligent, automated agent workflow. Project number seven, Uptime Kit. Terminal and web-based uptime monitor for your services. Imagine having a simple, self-hosted tool that quietly watches all your websites, APIs, or servers every minute and tells you immediately if something goes down. That's exactly what Uptime Kit delivers. It's a free, MIT-licensed, open-source uptime monitoring solution you can run locally or on your server. Uptime Kit supports multiple monitor types, HTTPA, DNS, INCAP, ping, so it works whether you're tracking a website, a DNS record, or a bare server. It offers a real-time dashboard web UI with response time charts, status history, and colored status indicators. Green for operational, yellow for degraded, red for down, so you get clear visibility of system health. You can deploy it easily via Docker, Frontend Plus Backend to SQLite, making setup quick and painless even if you just have a small server or VPS. For developers, sysadmins, site owners, or hobbyists running web services, this gives you full control, no vendor lock-in, and peace of mind. Your downtime alerts and logs stay with you. Try it today and see how effortless monitoring your stack can become. Project number eight, Agent SOP. Standard procedure workflows for AI agents. Imagine you could describe a complex multi-step workflow, like review this PR, update docs, run tests, deploy in plain markdown, and then hand that to an AI agent and have it follow exactly those steps, reliably and repeatably. That's exactly what Agent SOP delivers. It's an open source project under Apache 2.0 that defines a standardized markdown-based format for AI agent workflows called SOPs, Standard Operating Procedures, yet keeps everything in natural language. When you write an SOP, you define parameters, a clear overview slash objective, and step-by-step -step instructions using RFC 21119 keywords like must, should, may, to give the agent structured constraints and guidance. These SOPs can then be used across different agent frameworks or LLMs. The approach gives you the reliability of scripted workflows with the flexibility and reasoning power of LLMs. This matters today because many AI agents built purely by let the model decide everything often produce unpredictable or inconsistent results in real-world tasks. Agent SOP offers a middle ground, workflows that stay human-readable, reusable, and shareable, yet enforce structure so agents behave consistently. Developers, AI tool builders, researchers, or teams deploying automation pipelines benefit most. You get clarity, control, repeatability, and easier collaboration across agents or teams.
Try writing an SOP for a repeatable task and let your agent do the work. It might turn your chaotic workflows into smooth automation. Project number nine, Blueprint MCP, auto-generate architecture diagrams from code bases. Here's something that feels like the future. Imagine dumping your project's source code into a tool and getting back a clear professional architecture diagram showing modules, data paths, function flows, or API interactions without you drawing a single arrow. That's what Blueprint MCP does. It's an open source Python tool by Arcade AI that connects with their wider MCP ecosystem and uses external engines to analyze code and output full diagrams that visualize your system structure. With Blueprint MCP, you start by installing their CLI and logging into the Arcade platform. Then you trigger diagram generation via methods like start diagram job, and once done you can download diagram, resulting in a PNG or base64 encoded image that maps out modules and interactions in your project. This can turn tens of thousands of lines of legacy or complex code into an easy-to-understand flowchart or architecture map, saving hours of code reviews or onboarding effort. The tool works hand-in-hand -hand with other Arcade MCP servers, meaning you can also visualize API flows, authentication paths, or cross-service data pipelines if your project uses cloud services like Google Drive, GitHub, or others supported by Arcade. Blueprint MCP matters because many projects accumulate complexity fast, and humans alone find it hard to track every interaction, dependency, and module. With automated diagram generation, architects, dev leads, or even solo developers get clarity and documentation instantly. Give it a try and see how your code's hidden structure turns into an instant shareable blueprint. Project number 10, Agent Sandbox Skill. Safe, flexible sandbox environment for AI agent coding and experiments. Imagine giving an AI agent full power to write, build, test, or even host code, but inside a cage so it can't harm your real system. That's what Agent Sandbox Skill does. It provides isolated sandboxed environments via E2B sandboxes. So agents like Claude Code, Gemini CLI, or other CLI-based agents can safely run commands, build full-stack apps, install packages, or run browser automation, all without risking your host machine. Agent Sandbox Skill supports full-stack development workflows. Agents can scaffold front-end black-end projects, for example using Vue plus Fast API Skillolite, run build and test cycles, even perform browser automation using built-in integration with tools like Playwright. It manages sandbox life cycles, isolating file systems and network access per agent fork, so you can spin up as many independent agent sessions as you like, each with its own safe environment. The tool is aimed at developers, AI tool builders or teams who want to delegate real engineering tasks to AI agents, yet keep full control, safety and reproducibility. With this setup, you can use agents to prototype code, test ideas, build mini-apps, without worrying about accidental file corruption or unwanted network access. Give it a try and see how your AI-powered coding experiments stay safe, clean and scalable. Thanks for watching. If you like this roundup, please hit like, subscribe to the channel, comment which repo you love most, and enable notifications so you don't miss next video. Don't forget to star the repos and try out the demos linked in the description. And if you know more cool projects I should cover next time, drop them in the comments below.